everyone, Cynthia Luca here. I decided that when I seen a butterfly on one of Rena's videos, they're prima butterflies, I wanted to make them. Because I'd never seen them, I don't know where you get them, but they are beautiful. And definitely an Arlene butterfly. That's how beautiful they are. So, um, since I can't find them anywhere, or I don't know where they came from, I just know they're prima. I am going to try to recreate this. I'm going to try to recreate this with some seam binding. This beautiful new color from Lindy Stamp King, Va 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 Voom Vixen Violet. Oh yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use some pearls, some feathers, and some little uh, bead strands. So here we go. If it works, then this will be a tutorial. If it doesn't work, then nobody will ever see this. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt a little bit of this on my little glass cutting board here. I'm going to pour a little bit of water on it. And I'm going to get my seam binding a little bit wet so it'll absorb the color all over. And that's the trick when you dye your seam binding, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that your seam binding is wet. If there is a part missing color, all you have to do is make sure your seam binding is wet. There we go. Now we have a beautiful va 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 voom vixen violet uh, uh, seam binding. <laughs> okay, um, now I have beautiful Indy's fingers. I'm going to grab a paper towel and wipe my hands. But when you use your heat tool to dry it, it lightens up a bit. Which is fine, because it's still a beautiful color with shimmer. So my hands are going to be purple for the rest of the video, but I don't think you guys mind, because you know I'm just creating. So we're going to need about six to eight little rosettes. So I'm going to punch out some circles. Just my one inch Martha Stewart punch. And I'm just going to start to roll this around to make a rose like type of shape. Just going to add some glue and you can also use your rose trim and this is for people you know that don't have that available or just don't want to spend the money on it. Okay so I'm down to the last one and I wanted to show you again how I do this. And I left a little card showing on this so I can show you what to do about that. So I don't know if I have enough left on this tail, we'll see. So this is all I do is I put it about a quarter of an inch, maybe a half inch from the previous rosette, or rose, whatever these are called. And then I just start twisting and gluing. So twist touch it down, be very careful if you want to use like glossy accents, quick dry adhesive, if you're going to use your glue gun be very careful. And I just start twisting and turning. Twist it and turn it, just stab it down. Oh, I figured out where Rena got it. She got it from Carlene the Pink Scrapper. That's right, she had a haul from Carlene. An awesome haul. And Carlene's in Hawaii. I hope she's having a blast. So, um, yes, it made it. I mean, I'm not gonna make some more for, you know, like an inch. <laughs> Okay, so there's all eight rosettes, or whatever these are called. And now, after I have all that done, I'm going to give it another spray to color any of the card that is showing through. Let me back up a little bit. Here's all eight. Wow, the rain is really coming down here.
Okay, so now I have my butterfly shape, and I'm just going to color my cardstock with my Lindy's. What you do is start placing your flowers, your little rosettes, where you want them. And I'm thinking seven. And then once you cut in half, like this. Bubba, shush! And these are hot glued, so they're not going to come apart. So you can cut that and cut that side to give even more. And then just cut your last one up and into little pieces if you want. Like there, and there, and then just glue everything down. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I found a real fuzzy feather, and that's what you want. You want it to be nice and fuzzy. And this one is black. So I'm going to hot glue that on top. And cut that little tail off. Don't need that. And then, let's just do it this way. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of glue. And now, I'm going to add my pearls. A little glue string on there. So there is my Prima. Here's my Prima butterfly. Here's my interpretation of my of Prima butterfly. I hope that you like it and try it. And it really is easy to do, uh, especially if you have your own little rose trim. Um, otherwise, the the rose trim you know can take you a few minutes, but it it's beautiful. So thank you all for watching, and let me know if you try it. All right, love you all. Bye.